What's up, what's up, you guys? Um, it's uh, Wednesday, August 15th, about 3 p.m. Um, decided I'm gonna film a little bit today, so it's like halfway through the day, but it's just giving you guys like a little life update. Um, talked to you guys like earlier this week, um, gave you a physique update when I was 10 weeks out. Um, you guys probably can tell I'm getting more diet face and getting the forehead and more like neck veins. I'm starting to see some ab veins coming in, my favorite. Um, and yeah, so on Saturday I set my check-ins at 10 weeks out um, to Ammer and uh, he wanted to push us harder um, this week, so we are. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm not sharing my macros or cardio with you guys just because um, it's specific to me and my body and uh, to be honest, I don't think that most people, especially women, um, no offense, but I don't think most people would be able to do what I'm doing and I'm not saying that I'm like a superhuman or anything, but um, I just am very used to a lot of cardio, so I'm used to doing all of this work that I'm doing. Um, I work from home so I can basically make my own schedule. Doesn't mean I'm not busy, I like work probably 50 to 60 hours a week, but I can make my own schedule for the most part. Um, I, if I'm doing Skypes and stuff with competitors or posing clients or things like that, I have to work around their schedules of course. And most people are from out of town, so I have to work around like the time difference as well. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just nice to be able to, you know, if I'm spending a lot of time in the gym, um, I can make for that time. Doesn't mean I'm not exhausted or anything, um, but I can get it done easier than, you know, when last year when I was personal training as well as running my online business and doing three hours of cardio, I was fucking legit in the gym from like 4 a.m. until 10 or 11 at night, go home, do my online business, go to bed, sleep three hours, do it all again. So that was like in insane. Um, and I did that for a couple years basically. So don't get me wrong, I've been there, you know, where you're not sleeping, doing a million hours of training and so much work. Um, my very first prep that I've done, I was actually working four jobs as well as going to university full time and doing a prep. So um, it's all about time management too and, and whatnot. So anyways, um, we kept the cardio the same this week as it was last week. Um, and then we um, took away some more carbs this week, 30 carbs to be exact. So that's 120 calories that we took away a day, um, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're already on poverty macros, it's a lot. So um, I can notice um, a little bit of a difference in like my mood, like a little bit more irritable, um, a little bit more like exhausted and foggy brain memory is not the greatest but at the same time to be honest i don't feel as terrible as i thought i would um i've told three total of three people what i'm what my macros and cardio are one of them being dylan and he totally understands because he does similar as i do um and then uh i told two other people who are um teammates and friends of mine so and they also get pretty intense with their preps but they both were like shocked at what I'm doing and that I feel normal so um, yeah so just letting you guys know I'm not some freak of nature when I prep um, that you know I have I get a shredded six pack it fucking sucks for what I have to do to get there but at the same time I'm enjoying it I'm weird I enjoy pushing myself and challenging myself um, and you know going through my previous prep how my body wasn't changing um, I saw this prep as like a challenge to get it to respond and um, I'm willing to put in that work and suffer in order to get where I need to be because I got goals so I'm genuinely waking I'm having trouble sleeping at night and it's not actually because I'm hungry um, which happens a lot when I'm in prep. I haven't really felt that hungry this week. 
Um, when I go to bed, I'm like wired because I'm excited to crush my next day. Um, I wake up like naturally pretty early lately and uh, there's been a few days where I actually didn't get up out of bed till a couple hours after waking up, but I'll wake up pretty early lately and just lay in bed and do some work in my bed and, you know, respond to clients and um, just kind of chill before I actually like get up and get my day going. But uh, yeah, I just, I wake up and I'm like, I'm wide awake, I'm ready to roll. So it's been feeling good. I feel good about how my body's progressing. Um, you guys saw the physique update last weekend, so it's Wednesday now, so it's been four days since I showed you that, and uh, I'm already down um, four pounds since Saturday. So basically a pound a day, um, that's not necessarily like healthy, and I don't um, recommend you guys losing that much, um, but we're just trying to, you know, push my body ahead. I have a few photo shoots coming up um, in about a month as well, and then I'm going to the Olympia, so... The Olympia is five weeks out from my show, so I would like to be, and then those photo shoots are like the week before and stuff, so in about four weeks, I want to be like close to where I need to be for stage, like maybe five to 10 pounds off, which for me is like, I drop water like crazy the last couple weeks. So five to 10 pounds off my stage weight is like pretty shredded. So I would like to be that lean in about four to five weeks. So that's why we're pushing really hard and for me, I would rather get ahead. I would rather get ahead um, and then maybe be able to um, like maybe enjoy a refeed at the Olympia, um, be able to maybe pull back on some cardio, maybe add a little bit more food in there going into my show. I'd rather be ready early than have the stress of being behind. So yeah. That's kind of the plan right now. You know, if I'm not ahead in five weeks and I need to keep digging for a five, another five for a show, I will. So that's, you know, I'll do what I have to do um, to get there. So, yeah. Anyways, um, had kind of a crazy day today. Um, nothing really crazy exciting this week has really happened. Um, I have the worst memory right now. This is why I use my passion planner. I schedule my entire week out um, ahead of time and add things in there as I go, make lists on what needs to get done. So, um, got my lashes filled yesterday. Well, I, they need a bit of a brushing right now, but um, I go see um, Lashes by Charlotte in Saskatoon. She is amazing. Um, and uh, other than that, I've just like met with some clients throughout the week, um, got all my training stuff in it hasn't been like too crazy lately um it's been nice being at home for a few weeks and yesterday dylan and i went to a movie we saw skyscraper with the rock um and it was a really good movie actually it kept me interested um i was nervous i was maybe gonna fall asleep but it was really good uh today i had a skype session with nashley who did figure last weekend she's doing figure um she's 10 days out from her next competition so just coming up with a game plan, fixing up her posing. Um, and uh, Tia, my dog, has been um, peeing blood since yesterday, so had to take her to the vet this afternoon and uh, got some urine samples, and I'm waiting for a call back to see um, if I have to go pick up some drugs for her and whatnot. So I'm kind of worried because I have to leave Friday morning for 10 days and I'm leaving her here with Alyssa, and not that it, Alyssa can take care of her, but I feel bad leaving her with my dog who is sick. So um, she'll probably have to give her meds or something. We'll see. She may have to get an ultrasound, but um, yeah, it's kind of shitty timing with me leaving right away. Um, but I'm sure she'll be okay. Um, I did almost half my cardio this morning as well, which was nice. Um, I'm going to go do um, some cardio and some glutes and hamstrings here soon and then come home and uh, do a bit of work. I want to meal prep tonight. I have a bunch of steak and chicken and stuff that I'll show you guys when I'm gonna meal prep as I'm gonna bring all of that to New Brunswick with me. Um, I'm gonna freeze it and stuff and then that way hopefully it'll last me through the 10 days. Um, if not, I can buy more and cook more while I'm there. And uh, yeah, tomorrow's my last day here. Um, 
I have a lift planned with um, my friend Yvonne, which we're gonna film for you guys. We're gonna do some delts. And then I have a Skype with a possible new client and then a Skype meeting with the Hammer Fitness coaches. And then I'm getting a spray tan from um, um, AG Afterglow Sunless Tanning from here in Saskatchewan. Um, I'm being an ambassador with them. So I'll show you guys kind of like what my glow looks like. They have six different tans. So I did like kind of a summery tan last week and then they're going to give me some other tan, which will be nice because I have the wedding this Saturday. So they said this one will be better for the wedding. Um, and that takes me to like 9 p.m. tomorrow night and then I'm just last minute packing and gonna get my laundry and stuff done today and then I, uh, I'm gonna try and get all my cardio done Friday morning before I head out because I leave to be leave here at 11 a.m. and then I get in at almost midnight so it's like a full travel day so I need to get all my shit done Friday morning and then Saturday's a wedding so same thing we're gonna have to get up early and do all my cardio so it's gonna be a really exhausting trip but I'm really really excited to see my family at the same time so um, I'm gonna show you guys my room right now and what I'm going to be doing for the next like hour to um, get myself prepared before I leave which is clean my room put my clothes away um, I'll show you what travel life looks like while you're prepping um, because you are always on the road and don't feel like after you wash your clothes you don't feel like putting them away because you just wear them all the time and with the amount of cardio and training I do I'm dirtying so many clothes and always doing so much laundry so what's the point of putting them away when I used to live on my own I would just leave them in the dryer and then just like pull from the dryer and then like when they're dirty throw them in the lot in the washer and then like just cycle them through basically I'm lazy when it comes to that because I have 800 other things that are more important to spend my time on and if I do have like a spare half an hour I would rather um, just chill and not have to worry about putting my clothes away I'll show you guys my room don't judge me I swear I'm not a slob okay so my room I like just did this this morning, like moved my bed sheet so that I could get to my, these are like my clean clothes, these are clean clothes, these are like clean clothes. Okay, so all that needs to be put away, that needs to be put away, and then that is my laundry pile. It's a lot. Usually I do laundry more frequently throughout the week, but since I knew I was leaving this weekend, I wanted like all my clothes to be good go so it's like I'm just gonna like leave all the laundry for like right before I go so that's what I did so there's a lot there I'll probably have two or three loads to do um, I bought a new suitcase suitcases set of three from Costco can't wait to use them this weekend my closet everything is a disaster my room looks like a tornado went through it, but I'm never here, so what's the point of cleaning it? That's really dumb, but um, yeah, that's kind of my thinking behind it. Alrighty, so we're gonna do some meal prep. Um, it's like quarter to 7 p.m. now. Um, just finished up a good glute and hamstring workout. It's Wednesday, so it's hump day. That's really weird. Anyways, um, I'm in a weird mood because I just got a really exciting phone call with some news that I've been kind of praying to get and I'll keep you guys posted on it but um, it's a really cool opportunity that I've been chosen for so I'm gonna take you guys through a little meal prep um, I'm gonna cook up some extra I'm gonna cook up some ground extra lean ground chicken um, I have four packs of it here um, and then I'm gonna cook up some beef top sirloin steaks. Um, usually I cook up a shit ton of chicken breast um, because it's lower fat and I like to eat whole eggs for my fat for the most part. Um, but uh, I'm cooking all this up for my travel, um, which I'm gonna be gone for 10 days. 
and I probably won't have as much opportunity to cook whole eggs so I bought things that are higher in fat so the actually in ground chicken and the steaks are higher in fat so I probably won't eat as many eggs um, while I'm traveling so I won't have to worry about buying eggs and like cooking them and stuff I might have like a couple before bed or something like that um, so yeah I'm gonna cook these up um, I wish that I would have filmed my last meal prep for you guys because I cooked my chicken breast in like three different ways but I'll do that another time for you um, yeah so let's get started I had them in the freezer if you didn't realize that they were still a little frozen. I've had them thawing out yesterday and today. Um, so we'll see how they cook. I hope I don't overcook them. Um, but I basically just like to cut them up into like little cubes and then I fry them. Um, if I had a barbecue still, I would just barbecue them probably. So I'm going to cut up the other pack here. So all my extra lean ground chicken still frozen too. I left them out of the fridge, like on the counter yesterday for like probably like five hours and then I had them sitting in the fridge overnight and I thought they'd be thawed by now. So I'm gonna just have to stick them in the microwave on defrost for like five minutes and then I'll throw them into um, the pan. Okay, so I put this into the microwave to defrost for five minutes. Now I got it in the pan, so it's all thawed out now. I'm gonna cook it up so this is the extra lean ground chicken. You can see the steak there is like pretty much almost done cooking. So now that it's closed, I'm going to put, usually I put steak spice on there, but I don't have any. So I'm going to put Greek and some Southwest Chipotle. I like to season the crap out of my meat because I'm not a huge meat fan. As you guys know, previously vegetarian. I love the Greek stuff. Put on my eggs and everything. Mix her up there. Probably sprinkle a little bit more on. And then they're probably pretty good to go. And we'll put the same stuff on there. So my meal prepping done. My hair is so right now. But it's okay because it's hair washing day. I'm gonna wash it after this. I just got on the stairs. Not the piece I go at, it's just a quick little warm up um, and weighed all my food out into its portions and threw it into the freezer. It's definitely not going to be enough meat for my whole trip, but um, I'll probably just buy more when I get there. It's enough for my first half of the trip, anyways. So I'm going to finish off my cardio for the night, take you along for my busy day tomorrow. So, started to feel a little bit lightheaded and dizzy on the stair climber. I was going pretty hard actually for how tired I am and exhausted. So I did 40 minutes on the stairs. I'm like drenched right now and I just decided to come to the Connor gym and walk the rest of my 20 minutes out. So I had an hour left to do tonight. Um, so put my hood up so I can get an extra sweat. Put on my Instagram story, felt like a ninja. It was dark in my condo. So I don't care if I look like a fucking idiot whether I'm at the gym or at home gotta get it done so like I said my hair is super greasy too and this against my neck is just like extra sweaty so I'm gonna bang out this rest of this 20 minutes gonna put the incline at the full 15% walk at a decent pace and uh, then I'm I think I'm gonna have a nice hot Epsom salt bath tonight 
that feels so good. And then check-ins tomorrow. So it's only been, um, it's only been four days. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, today. It's only been four days since my last check-in with Amr. Um, but he wants to be checking in every four days now. So just make sure that my body is progressing as it should be. Um, as I have exciting news for around eight weeks out of um, my show. So we want to be in good shape around eight weeks out. And I have a couple of photo shoots in about three, three, and f three to four weeks from now um, that I also want to be in decent shape for. And then the Olympia as well, which is five weeks out from my show. So um, I want to be literally like, I would like to be like five pounds off my stage weight come Olympia time. So. I want to be in really good shape. Five to 10 pounds off my stage weight is like pretty shredded as I hold a lot of water weight. So if I'm in five pounds above my stage weight, come Olympia, I'll be super pumped. So it's my goal, pushing hard right now. If, if I'm in a good spot at that point, hopefully I can maybe enjoy a refeed or, um, or um, maybe pull back for the, a little bit. But I mean, if I have to keep digging, I will super motivated right now and just excited and cannot fucking wait to be back on stage oh my god you guys like just the thought of it just the thought of this just makes me feel amazing and really extremely blessed to be doing what I'm doing so gonna bang out these 20 minutes do an Epsom salt bath finish up my laundry hopefully get to bed by like midnight is what I'm hoping because it's like 9.30 now and I have a decent amount of stuff to do. So yeah, um, catch you guys tomorrow.